so uh, I'm really happy to be talking to you guys because I love you guys. I love you. Do, 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 do. But you guys already knew that, right? Mm hmm. I think I like I started all my videos like that. Y'all probably like, shut up. But anyway, oh my gosh. I did not know what to make a video about today. I was like, ah. I was like going through all my records. Like, you know, the vinyl, and I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about Dirty Mind. No, I'm going to talk about this. Or Seven and Times, and I was like, I don't know how. So then I realized that for the longest time, over here, I wanted to talk about um, Around the World in a Day, which of course looks like this, and it is so beautiful. Look at it. Do, do, do. La, 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 tee, hee, hee. Oh. <laughs> and of course... I hope, I don't know if you can see all this, but look how pretty it is. It's like every song is in different color. And of course, over here. And it's just so pretty. And it goes like that. And people are always talking about this on the org, Prince.org. It's like, yes. And of course, the B-sides associated with it are like amazing. The girl, she's always in my hair. Hello. Yeah, if I'm probably missing one. I think that's it though. Anyway, and of course, Girl is like my third favorite Prince song ever. So, yes. But I also wanted to show you guys that I got Parade on vinyl and it's so pretty and yay. And, ooh, maybe I should. I already did a video on vinyl on, vinyl, on Parade. Mm. How about I'll show you guys? Look. It's so pretty. Look at that. Yes, of course it goes like this. So, Parade is very special to me because I realized that it was the first CD I bought at Amoeba, which is a music store in LA. Um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's not go into any more detail. Anyway, um, I apologize for the mess. Not my bed. Not my bed. And it's it. You asleep? Y'all are probably going to be distracted the whole time by that kitty cat. Anyway, so around the world day, the the, tra the, 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 the the title track has actually been stuck in my head like all day. Like the, ooh, shala, shala, whatever. It's such a pretty song. Like I am just not getting into that song. I've always been into la la, la this album, but like that song is just now hitting me. Like, oh, it's so pretty. Just like today, it's such a pretty day. So yeah, it's just, it's like you can hear the colorfulness of it. Well, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm saying. But anyway, so this was only like... Do you ever have that with your computer starts making noise? Like what the hell? Stop, shut up. I'm making a video. Ah. So annoying! Anyway, <laughs> what was I even talking about before that? Um, yeah, it was on like my third, it was one of my very first Prince albums, right after like Purple Rain, 1999, and then I think I got this. And I had read the reviews and people were like, uh, people thought it, they wanted, right after Purple Rain, they wanted like Purple Rain 2. They wanted to sound like Purple Rain because this came out right after Purple Rain. <laughs> And people, I read the reviews. I knew nothing about Prince really when I was getting into him like last fall. Uh, okay. <laughs> and people were like, this sounds so different. What is this? I don't know. And so I feel, people feel like he lost a lot of his fans or whatever. But anyway. Um, and some, one person said it took him like four times to get into it. But anyway. You know. <laughs> I always, I feel like I drop everything in all my videos. Um, so I love every song, basically. Um, I don't know. America is okay. America is probably my least favorite. Yeah. But Paisley Park makes me so happy. Makes me want to dance around. And I love it so much. I loved it right away. And I also noticed it was very simple, like the, in the verse, like just to drum, like. And Prince singing. It's just very simple, but like it's really good. And it makes me so happy. Such an amazing song. I've also heard there's an extended, which I haven't heard. 
Because I can't find it anywhere. And of course, should I go in order? Or should I surprise you? The ladder always, always oh, makes me happy. It's very, it's like uplifting, like this whole album. Except Condition of the Heart, which is really, I think it's a sad song. But it's beautiful and it's probably my favorite from here, for sure. So when I first, um, get out of here. When I first, um, got the CD, I got it on CD. Uh, obviously, I didn't get it on vinyl first. I got it out of vinyl shortly after because I saw it at a store and I was like, because nah, I kind of fell in love right away. Anyway, the thing is, oh, just come apart. Okay, here it's broken. Um, where? The thing is, the inside is like black. So, and when I first got it, I read the lyrics. I was reading the lyrics for the first time I was hearing the song. So kind of like I think about black when I listen to Condition of the Heart and Paisley Park, unfortunately. I don't know why. Well, but yeah, that's what I think about because for the first time I heard it and now it's like stuck in my mind. Does it happen to you guys? I don't know. But I wish I could have been like this because it's like so much prettier and colorful. And look at the trees. Anyway, so yeah, Condition of the Heart. Beautiful song. Raspberry Bray, of course. One of Prince's biggest hits ever. And very catchy. I freaking love the video. It's so dreamy. Wouldn't change a stroke. Boop, boop, boop. That was one. Of, actually, I had I heard her that song before I got the album because I was looking up Prince hits like after I got to Purple Rain, so I didn't knew it. I was like, oh, it's from here. And then I think Tambourine, quite a unique song. I like it. I really do. I quite like it. It's very unique and it's like catchy. Um, yeah. Anyway, Pop Life, another hit, of course, another fan favorite. Good song. And before, actually, I had previewed some of the songs um, on Amazon. What is going on? Alright. <laughs> on Amazon, or online, like I went to YouTube, I typed in Pop Life Prince, whatever, and I listened to the live version first. And then, and it sounded completely different. Then I listened to the studio one, the one from the actual album, and I was a little disappointed just because it sounded so different. And I was like, oh, okay. Whatever. It's still good. It's still good. I just wasn't used to it. And he played it at the show I went to. Yay. Uh, so. And oh my gosh. Temptation. Oh my god. The first. Oh my god. It's almost been a year since I've heard it. For the first time. It's such a good song. I love the horns. and do, 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 do. I love it. I seriously do. Temptation. Never gets mentioned. Uh, maybe sometimes on the org. But I don't really know. So, I like it. Do, 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 do. Alright, so that's about it. That is what I think. I'm having a heart attack. I can't breathe. Um, yes, I love it. Oh, and another thing about Condition of the Heart, it sounds really parade -y to me. Yeah, anyway. Um, and also just put up like a Volt outtake video. Let me know if you like that. You can leave any other requests below. Do, do, do. And, yeah, I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.